the fuel monitor desk mount and it's model HNCM7 and it's the fuel monitor mount fully adjustable and it's for two LCD LED screens um, and with two mounting options so there's a two mounting option on this so I want to fit this onto my desk so we're going to unbox this today we're going to see what it looks like I'm doing all this on a budget so I've got a dual monitor stand even though I've only got one monitor uh, but down the road I hope to buy maybe maybe two IPS monitors which would be nice but that's in the future so at the moment we're doing all this on a budget so I'm going to unbox this dual monitor desk mount and it's from a company called Who No. so uh, we're going to unboxing so here we go So in the box we get a uh, fuel monitor desk mount manual. So this model is a it's a HNC M7, and you've got all the different languages in the manual. So uh, I don't really need that. Throw that away. So, so we've got this. Uh, Okay. We've got another uh, sort of a place. And we've got a box or something. And, oh yeah. So, got a big bag of screws and fishing no idea what all of them are for why there's so many in it uh, we've got a uh, monitor mounting plate uh, we've got a store for the valley keys more screws right mm. might still need instructions from C so in here then we've got nice and tight so that fits on there mm. okay so there's nothing else in the okay okay so there's two uh, mounting systems for this obviously this kind of system is not suitable for glass discs or glass Binches or uh, MDF because the uh, weight and the pressure on this. Now uh, I I want to say about well, that this is a this monitor stand. It's for thirteen inch to twenty seven inch, so you could have two twenty seven inches uh, down to a uh, thirteen inch and everything in between. Any bigger than that, you'll be looking at a different uh, monitor a stand. Or, or dual monitor stand. So I'm only going to mount one monitor on this because that's all I have at the moment. And uh, we're going to try and put this together and see how we get on. Okay, so I've managed to put this together now. I'm using the, the bench cl clamp uh, system. So I'm going to clamp this up on my desk. And uh, a bit confusing with the screws. So on uh, on packet F here, there's a, well first on packet E, there's one screw that goes in here. And when you do that, then that kind of sets that piece in. And then there's two, and you'll be left over with these two bits. 
or they'll be used for if you're doing a different clamping uh, because you can also use this where you can bore the hole in the desk and you can you can mount this down and mount it up from the back so then you'll be using this clay here for that system and uh, there will be a bolt going through here up to and that is to be, to be screwed into this and you'll you be using this so so that's the second mounting option so that's what that them, them things are for so a little bit confusing because then on here then you use the the two f screws so f1 so these two they screw in here and it's the self, self tap tapping that's the self tapping uh thing so you're left over with those two heads so uh, they don't go on usually when you're using it like this so it's together now anyhow and of course you uh screw in this so that's also self-tapping which gives a nice and flush so now you end up with that so when we screw this back up that will screw into the desk screw up onto the desk the desk will be in between there and that will hold it in place so we're going to do that now so I have measured the desk so I know where I'm going to put it so there's a little uh, protector here I can stick this down on the desk and pull this peeling off the back like so okay so I'm going to fit it on the desk so this is my mark here that I'm working off okay so that's going to protect the top of my nice beach desk uh, when this part here goes down on it so, so now we're going to Oh, so I'm going to fit it on like that. So I'm just going to square it up. Yes, so, so far so good. <coughs> Happy enough with that. So now, right, so now we've got to work out of this piece. So, okay, so you can, uh, can adjust the angle up and down. And then I presume you can tighten this in. So on here we've got cable management. Uh, so I have an idea how this works. So now I'll just leave that side for a minute. Now I'm going to have a look at my um, back of the monitor here. So I hope I've got it there. Okay, so I have to mount the uh, Vista mount onto the monitor. So this is the next job. So I've got two of these uh, plates, whatever you want to call them, and there's a lip on the plate here. So you need to have this lip here facing towards the top of the monitor. And uh, of course you need to uh, remove the four screws that are already on my monitor so these are self-tapping screws they've got the little uh, blue locking stuff on them so now now for this mountain plate Eight sets of holes, so you've got these two that are um, matching up with my monitor. So there's, there's another set here for if you have a smaller monitor. Uh, so they will come in there. Um, so that that's good that you have that option. So now I'm going to put the four screws back. And I'm working on it off a budget here to allow for later on when I want to get. Uh, second monitor so it's cheaper now to to buy the dual monitor even though I'm only working with one monitor it's cheaper to buy the dual monitor stand so I have this part so then in the future I can buy two monitors and it's a cheaper way of doing it so if you're working on a budget always keep, keep that in mind for your future upgrades
I have just to hide things I want. This big Allen key that comes in the pack. Okay, happy with that. Right, you can have it where we want. And you can pull it out towards you. Yeah, we're happy with that. Right, so that tilts like that, but right? so you can have them. So that's good. You can have them straight up like that. That way. So good adjustments on this. Got a load of death space now over there. So, so.